Well, the Red Sox probably thought they'd seen enough of the Twins when Minnesota took three out of four from Boston last weekend at the Metrodome, but they turned around and opened a four-game set tonight, and the Twins never missed a beat. Chili Davis parked this three-run homer in the fourth over the Green Monster and left his 20th of the year. Then there was Kirby Puckett for the defense. Mike Greenwell, he's looking at extra bases here, but look at Kirby go back, get a glove on it, and hold on for the out. Tough night for Greenwell and the Red Sox. The Twins unraveled them tonight by the final count of 11 to 3. And as you can see, it's not always easy being a major leaguer. But while the Red Sox have floundered, Mike Greenwell's still in there swinging and producing some of the best numbers in the American League. As I found out on our trip to Minneapolis, Greenwell is big league all the way. up in North Fort Myers, Mike Greenwell always dreamed he'd get to play in big league ballparks like the Metrodome here in Minneapolis. Through a lot of hard work, his dream has come true, and now Mike is one of the best players in all of baseball. And when you're one of the best, people expect the best. Maybe nowhere else in baseball is that more true than in Boston, where the Fenway faithful make it tough on even the toughest players. Everybody has a tendency in Boston to look at the salaries, um, look at uh, what you've done in the past, and they expect that from you. You know, they, if, you're, if you're making $3 million, then you, they want you to perform at a $3 million level. There's nothing wrong with that, but, you know, we are human. We're going to have good times and bad times, and uh, so when those bad times are around, it's tough. Tougher still when you play not only in the shadow of Fenway's Green Monster, but in the shadows of the last three Red Sox left fielders. Three guys named Ted Williams, Carl Yastrzemski, and Jim Rice. Two Hall of Famers and one who might be one day. But that's a position Greenwell always wanted. When I signed to play with the Red Sox and I realized I was going to be an outfielder, I always wanted to be that left fielder, not, not a right fielder, not a center fielder. I wanted to be a left fielder because there was something special there. And uh, hopefully five or six years from now, some young player will come along and, uh, and he'll be able to put up big numbers and uh, uh, hopefully everybody will be able to include me into that category. Last thing, happy birthday. Well, I appreciate it. It's, uh, I didn't think I'd be 28 still in the big leagues. I was hoping, uh, hoping I could play that long, and uh, now I'm really just kind of, I'm still a young player in the game, and uh, hopefully I have a lot more birthdays up here. I appreciate it. Mike turned 28 today. Unfortunately, the Red Sox couldn't give him a win for a birthday present. They're struggling right now, but he's still in their swing. Well, he's playing. I think he's going to be around a little while longer, though. He's still, especially if you're making $3 million a year, and if the Red Sox come yeah. to train here, he says, I'll play for quite a while longer <laughs> if I get to stay home in spring training. I think so. Good to see him.